This is a great drill for homeowners. Pretty basic, but I'm gonna do some drilling and driving uh, test and then go through all these details and the functionalities about this drill and show you how it works. And also there's some bit storage back there. It's a pretty good feature. All right, let's do a quick dry drilling test. Please note you can change the torque setting if you are if you have a lot of resistance or cannot drive through or drill through you can increase the uh, torque setting that's the maximum torque setting but i would recommend starting from the lowest torque the torque setting is more for um driving in screws let's try the um, lowest torque setting there is there is no speed setting there. Yeah, always start with the lowest setting. If it is not insufficient, you uh, go up using this uh, plastic chuck. It is all plastic construction, no metal parts. And here's the tip. You can grab this part and put it in reverse. See here? In the center position, that's locked, so you, you won't be able to engage the trigger. Push it on the left side to make the drilling uh, go in it's it's the clockwise um, rotation and counterclockwise is push it to the right side so grab this part and it will automatically lose up so open up and you can use different bits let's use this driving bit uh, on the back and now let's um, you can put it in uh, to the left side and grab it, it will automatically, you know, tighten. And that's at the lowest uh, torque setting. Okay. If I put at the highest torque setting without pre-drilling, let's see if I can drive in this screw. This one, top down. Yeah, I would always recommend pre-drilling the hole first. It is pretty powerful, yeah. It can easily drive in this screw even without any pre-drilling. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, you also get a lot of accessories. The driving bits, Phillips, flathead, or this extension. Use the extension so you don't have to constantly uh, use the chuck to uh, change the bit, right? You can always just um, maybe grab a longer one and do this to change bits easily like this without having to do anything about the chuck. Also get the nut drivers, uh, drill bits of different size, and about the charger, about the charger, yeah. When connected, it is not consuming any electricity, so it is okay to have it plugged in uh, always without having to worry about uh, power consumption. Now remove the battery pack by pressing down this big button. There's no way to check the battery status. I wish there's a way or, you know, basic power indicators. No, nope. you just connect the charger like that. And it's a pretty slow charger at only 8.5 Watts. Blinking light. And when it's uh, faulty or higher temperature, then it will blink uh, red or something like that. Yeah. That's the red uh, indicator. So, you also um, get a manufactured date here. This was a pretty recent uh, unit. Yeah, and that's it. And there, there's a clever bit storage in the back and nothing else, no belt clip. Uh, yeah, very basic, but it works great. Uh, 
easily driving this screw without the drilling. It is going to be sufficient for most homeowners. Alright, thank you very much for watching.